from the EIU now to the good old rivalry between the two economic giants of Asia. I'm talking about China and India. And Indian leaders have spoken of converting financial hub Mumbai into a Shanghai. The BBC's Vinet Carr traveled to Shanghai to find out whether that was even possible. Decaying infrastructure, urban mess, flooded tracks. India's financial hub, Mumbai, seems like another world from Shanghai, located 5,000 kilometers away. Digital is more than a slogan in Shanghai. It is part of life. On roadsides across the city, you would find these parked cycles. They are cheap to hire and are paid for by mobile wallets. From buying groceries to purchasing ticket for the magnetic levitation train that runs upwards of 300 kilometers an hour, mobile wallet payment has lent wings to Shanghai. Shanghai has 18 metro rail lines and it is the longest metro rail network in the world. Madhav Sharma has been in Shanghai for 14 years. Shanghai government has set up something called the International Business Leaders Advisory uh, Council to the mayor of Shanghai. And there are uh, international representatives who are on, on, on this board. And based on those recommendations by the businesses and through the dialogue that uh, the businesses has with the government, they are able to identify key areas where they need to develop Shanghai. Implementation is what is said to be holding Mumbai back. They are using a million cameras in Shanghai. The traffic management, traffic violation, everything is through the um, um, cameras. There's a Shanghai 2020 plan, 2025 plan, 2030 plan. Mumbai has plans, but where Shanghai and Mumbai differentiate, I can differentiate that there is implementation in Mumbai is lacking. Some say Mumbai can turn into a Shanghai, but it needs a massive infrastructure overhaul and a strong political will. Fast-paced development in Shanghai came at a cost, and the government brushed aside all hurdles, including displacement issues. The question is whether Mumbai would be willing to pay that price. Vineet Khare, BBC News, Shanghai.